Hi, this is Universal 144. So today is the 22nd, right after summer equinox. This is going to be a collective. So, could resonate with anybody. The reason why I don't like doing zodiac signs is because people take it pretty little, like literal, when I can say, for an example, I'm doing a Sagittarius reading, right? Or I can say I'm doing a fire sign reading, which is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, right? And somebody that I'm actually reading for, that's not even their sun sign. It's most likely their moon sign, or their rising, or their Venus, or their Mercury, especially Mercury. Like usually when I do readings for specific zodiacs, I've learned through uh, people contacting me that that's their Mercury placement. So Mercury is the planet of communication, right? I'm a life path five, which is throat chakra. So I usually, if I do a specific sign, most of it represents the person's, well this, this was like a year ago, okay? Most of it would represent the person's Mercury placement, okay? So that's important um, to know. But this is just a collective, so when I do in the future do zodiac signs, which it's easier to do collective 144 readings because it's the higher view, right? It's not specific, there's less drama. You guys know the gig if you've been watching tarot. Okay, so this is the collective reading, what you should know at this time for this summer. For your highest good and the highest good of all involved. Okay, so we have two of cups showing up. Okay. With the ten of wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck is eight of coins. By the way, this is uh, a different type of tarot plain deck, okay? It's not like the basic. I think it's called Uncommon Tarot or something. So, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands overall, Eight of Coin. So, there is a merger between two people, right? Or this could be two entities, right? Like business, um, a joint venture in business. This could be just any of those things where you merge together, okay? With another person, place or thing, any of the nouns, right? Um, so this merger is causing, the issue is it can cause burdening. It's causing burdening, okay? With somebody's work environment. Because the Eight of Coins is all about work, it's about accolades, it's about, you know, pretty much like 3D uh, construct, uh, co-worker crap, right? Um, the Eight of Coins is also somebody who is patiently and diligently working towards a goal. So if it does not involve the 3D mindset construct, right, where you are just working away, working away, perfecting something of monetary value, right? This burden could be, um, and the Ten of Wands, I don't necessarily normally see as a burden. I see it as people fighting for your attention when you're trying to focus on one thing. So maybe somebody who is trying to perfect like a career goal is having an issue within um, merging with somebody at work to perfect something better. But there's the issue being the burdening process, okay? Or being pulled in too many directions that's really the ten of wands the ten of wands is like uh you guys ever notice when you get super uh depleted from your energy how you kind of hunch over well typical in tarot the ten of wands is somebody carrying like ten wands you know on their back hunched over like just going inch by inch and eventually that person and that ten of wands in traditional tarot is going to lose the whole load you know it's kind of like, you know, you know, those semi-trucks that hold a bunch of 
you know, timber and stuff like that, and then boom, the whole thing goes loose going over a bump, you know, because somebody didn't tie it down properly. So that's what I'm getting here, okay? So somebody is not grounded, okay? So that's what the tied down properly means. So if you're not grounded in a merger, right, with this Two of Cups, um, whatever merger it might be, but this feels like uh, this feels like business. This feels like uh, 3D to me. Monetary, okay. If if you're not anchored, grounded, like in a really steady, stable way, the merger will not see its completion, okay. And the reason why the overall here is the Eight of Pens, which is perfecting something. Right? It's, it's perfecting and molding something to be at its highest value for when it goes to market. Right? This could be, ooh, this could be like business ideas between you and somebody or between you and your higher self. Yeah. A lot of dream state here. And when I say dream state, it's really just like original thought form. Um, and a lot of people I understand when you have a dream, it's really hard to like um, go back and pull certain signs and sinks out of your dream and apply it to the here and now, um, unless you keep a dream journal. I don't keep one anymore very often because my cognizance about my dream is pretty clear. Um, also, you could just ask, okay? Yeah, and Four of Swords is behind um, the Eight of Pence. So four of swords is rest, right? It's sleep, it's meditation, it is uh, the relaxation state of the body. And you have the swords, which is mental, which is thought, right? I'm not trying to teach you guys how to learn tarot. Maybe somebody watching me is trying to learn why I come up with this crap. Um, but I'm not coming up with this crap, it's just there, right? Um, so yeah, I would pay attention. So if you are looking to, if your situation is you are looking to merge, Right, or to elevate any type of thought form like business idea okay and and get to a point where you feel less burdened here okay this this could also be like you feel singular right now and you're burdened by the pure thought of calling out for help because the eight of pence here somebody is working by themselves diligently like trying to perfect this, you know, pentacle, right? There, there's in traditional tarot, it's all the pentacles on the wall, and they're trying to make this last one, the eighth one out of seven, perfect, just like the last seven, okay? And so it takes time to do that, and it takes focus, right? So you feel as though the burden is, is the focus is being pulled, you know, that you have to do this on your own when in reality the situation is you need to call somebody else in. Now, whether or not this is your higher self you need to call in, okay, or um, your guides, your helpers, whatever you guys believe in, right? Um, just calling in your guides and helpers and be like, hey, find me somebody, you know, to help me with this. This is heavy, okay? You're, and this is the issue with the Ten of Wands. This is heavy. Like, eventually somebody's going to burn out here. Okay, that's what the Ten of Wands is in this reading right here. And it has to do with work, right? Perfecting, molding an idea, thought form that has come to you spiritually, right? Um, that's meant for you to expand on. But um, like the saying that I'm getting right now, probably gonna dice it up here but it's like anything worthwhile takes time right it takes time I don't like the word time but I'm just using that for an example um, anything worth your energy takes energy but it'll give you something back it won't be burdening the issue with somebody is that they are either around somebody with within union right it's like uh, this could be like a toxic friendship, you know, and they're so dedicated to this friendship or whatever. This could be family too. They're so dedicated to this family um, environment that um, they don't have the time to perfect this goal, right? But it has to do with monetary. This is 
this is like um, this is more like a patent okay like when you get a patent on something like a thought form like an idea that you want to do it's like somebody could be taking the situation is somebody could be taking up your time and burdening you to where you cannot focus on your perfection of your work right to get this patent done or to get your business off the ground right so you're kind of like overextending yourself to all these wands you know everybody wanting your time your energy and in reality behind the eight of coins which is your perfection of your work right is rest and dream states right like you need you need time to yourself you need to meditate okay that's one situation and i said multiple already this ten of wands hold on yeah the ten of wands is clarified by the eight of swords so this is somebody who is pretty much like in their head, they feel trapped, okay? Now, if you feel trapped, you could be, be feeling trapped by a partner, whether that be a romantic, friendship, family, um, any sort of soul contract that you may have with um, a person, okay? So it could be romantic, or it could be coworker, or it could be friendship. Any soul tie that you have, you are feeling like burdened by because it's taking you away from your perfection of your zen to create this whatever this is um which is monetary it's going to bring monetary value okay and we have the world right here so that means completion right so it's within your blueprint to do this and you were having a distraction from some sort of soul contract that's not over yet and it's so funny like there is a line in this right a lion and then there's peonies and there's flowers and there's two cups but the two cups are not gathered in union next to both these people in this and this is why i love this tarot deck because it gives me that download right so the woman's holding her cup down you know here by you know the solar plexus and the man is holding it out to him on the opposite side they're both wearing black like they're going to a freaking funeral like it's almost like the death of them if they and this is all metaphoric, right? If they continue to be in union, but they're never gonna like cheers, you know? Like this perfection, whatever the thought form is that somebody is creating for monetary value here is highly important to that person and needs to come to a completion because it's divinely a part of the blueprint to come to completion. But there is something about the situation that's union with someone. And the union is not, I don't even feel like this is a lover. It's really not. I don't see any like romantic cards here at all. Um, the union with, and this could just be your shadow self, really, if you look at it, right? Um, your, your feminine and your masculine aspects, like the shadow self. Um, maybe you haven't learned how to like merge the yin and yang in your life, and therefore, you know, you are burdened about starting this thing and staying imprisoned. Okay, I'm going to stop ranting. Um, it's like you doubt. You're, you're doubting this and the easiest thing for uh, this individual to do instead of realize that they're doubting themselves and they're burdening themselves by doubt is to continue with this unhealthy union um, feeding feeding the doubt through another right also, if somebody tells you, if a friend tells you that that whatever you're thinking that you want to do is like crazy and never going to happen, that's usually the, the green light from your higher self saying do it, okay? I don't care if you've been best friends with this person your whole entire life. Like, um, when somebody says that's crazy, that's never going to happen, that would be cool, but that's never going to happen, start acting on it. Like, start working on it, okay? Start building it. Um, and perfecting it. Don't allow other people to keep you in your head about something that you're really passionate about. Just because somebody else is not passionate about it does not mean that it's not going to happen. If one person is passionate about something, like the whole wave thing, others will follow. You just need to learn how to build, right? To like perfect. 
and take rest from people who are negative. And quit telling people what you're doing until you do it. I've always told you guys this. You know, until I actually do something, I don't actually tell people my goals and dreams. I don't. Because I've learned not to do that. Because people can talk you out of anything good for you, right? Yeah, which, what you're not seeing here, whatever idea this is, right? Even if it feels like a burden, like you have to do X, Y, and Z. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, most successful companies, businesses, whatever, right? Anything here that is highly successful was always told it was going to fail and that nobody needed it. That would be nice if we had that, but we don't need it. Like, who's going to buy that? You know? But in reality, somebody has a really good idea here that will benefit humanity in some way over time. We have the 21 here, right? Which is the world, right? So it benefits, like it brings people into unison with each other, right? Okay, this is my first post. I'm gonna do another one because I didn't use the other deck that I have charged here for this. But that's just for certain individuals and the collective that are dealing with that situation. All that is needed here is to um, be your own best friend, okay? Become become your own best friend with your higher self, okay? Um, get out of your head about whatever you're trying to initiate and take the time to perfect it. That's your solution overall, is being able to have the time to perfect what it is that makes you happy, that you're passionate about, okay? And, and once you uh, clear out uh, any type of like uh, bonds that you have with other people who take from you, your energy, to where once you get back to your project, you don't have any energy to do your project, that right there is telling you that um, it's time to take a break from those people, okay? Or any of the nouns, person, place, or thing, right? Could be a substance. All right, that's all I have for this one. I will come back and do a uh, different one because I know it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, I'm also in a different place, and so the energy is a little bit different. <laughs> all right, that's all I have. Thank you.